We're maxed out at, at, in ICE capacity. We're looking for more detention beds across the country. Uh, the system is overflowing. There's humanitarian aspects to this that can't continue, uh, and the border security aspects. It's just it's a terrible situation for the, the folks that are down there. The acting ICE director, Ron Vitello, weighing in on the immigration crisis in our last hour as Secretary Nielsen continues a three-day tour of the southern border. Casey Stiegel is live for us in El Paso, Texas right now. Cas Casey? Hey, Sandra, good to see you. Yeah, day two, it is a three-state uh, stop. She is in Yuma, Arizona today before she will join President Trump in California at the border on Friday. But yesterday, Secretary Nielsen, well, she was right here in El Paso, Texas. All events were closed to the press, so we did not even get a chance to see her. However, DHS officials tell us that she uh, went to a local port of entry. She went to a migration detention facility, and she also received a briefing at the El Paso sector border patrol office. This region in particular is of high importance because they've seen a huge spike in the number of groups and unaccompanied minors that have been showing up and turning themselves in to agents. Bed space is scarce. In fact, overcapacity by about 280 percent, according to the feds. They say that they're quickly reaching a point where they will be unable to humanely care for the migrants. Secretary Nielsen tweeting this yesterday from El Paso. I'm quoting here, I've called on Congress to give DHS the authority and resources needed to stem the flow of illegal migration, fueling the emergency at our border. Families and unaccompanied children should not be collateral damage to our political dysfunction. DHS says that the purpose of these meetings also to assess the emergency response, the entire agency's emergency response to this crisis along the border to, quote, restore order here. Sandra? Casey Stiegel, thank you. Let's